Hey guys, probably wondering why I'm posting a video. So, basically, my business mentor has set me a challenge to post a video publicly on Facebook of a topic that feels very, very uncomfortable for me to talk about. And I'm going to hold my hands up. This is way, way outside my comfort zone. So, um, yeah, bear with me. Um, and in doing so, hopefully, the, the story that I'll talk about in a second will be able to help a number of people even if it just helps one person then the video is worthwhile posting so and I just want to say actually before I start that I really don't want the video to offend or upset anyone that's not my intention it's it's purely to help other people um, if if they're if they're struggling in some way and they can relate to it so the story that I want to talk about is some of you will know already, um, five years ago I lost one of my best friends in front of my eyes, which was a, obviously a very traumatic experience, not just for myself, but for all of his other friends and his family. And at the time I let it, um, it affected me way more than I, I thought it did. I thought that I was being quite mentally strong um, and I thought that keeping my emotions in was a sign of that but looking back now it, was, it wasn't a good thing to do it's not healthy to do that so I would encourage anyone that is um, has is in a similar position or mentally they're not in a great place that the best thing you can do is to actually get rid of them emotions and let go of them by however you need to sharing them with other people or whatever you need to do but keeping them in is definitely not a healthy thing. And I can see that now with hindsight looking back. So where I am today, I want to, I want to explain in, in as short as possible how, this, how it's kind of affected my life. So looking back at it, um, obviously it's a very um, damaging experience um, and impact on my life. So I could have let that put me on a downward spiral and go into a really negative, you know, become depressed and really not enjoy my life. Um, and then there's the other way of looking at it where I can look at it as a turning point in my life and move forwards. Um, unfortunately for me, I chose a second option. Um, I was so shook up when my friend died, who was actually younger than me at the time, at such a young age, that it really, really kick-started me and from that moment onwards I, I said that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to live my life how I want to live it and do what I want to do and make the most of it and I'm not going to settle for anything less than I'm worth or anything less than I want um, because life is way too short and I really believe that anyone can have anything they want in life if they're really passionate enough about it and they want it bad enough and they're willing to work for it. So what I'm really trying to get at with this story is if you are in a bad place um, and you know you're really struggling then just know that there is light at the end of the tunnel um, because I've been down there. I mean fortunately I wasn't in a depressed state. Um, I, you know, mentally I was I was pretty drained. Uh, my life was you know my life wasn't that great at the time. I'm going to be honest, and it had a massive effect for a, a good few years. Really, um, it's the the past sort of year or so. I've really started to get my focus back, and over the the five years, I've um, but become qualified as a personal trainer. Absolutely love my job, helping people, transforming their lives. It's amazing. Um, I'm really into personal development now, I read a lot of books, I study a lot, I go to seminars and I'm really on that, that positive path um, that is helping me and it, it's, it's the direction that I want to go in my life and I know where I'm going. So yeah, all I would say is if, if you've got any kind of negative feelings or anything like that then share them. Um, if this video helps anyone then please comment and let me know. It would be nice to know that it can help someone and also if you feel like the video would benefit anyone else then please share it with them. And yeah, that is what I wanted to talk about.
Um, thanks for watching, and I have just done my video challenge, so I can relax a little bit now. Cheers.